Hello everyone and welcome back to the Costume Corman channel. I'm your host, the Costume Corman. I want to thank everybody for joining my channel and being patient with me as I continue along this uh, journey of making these videos. Um, and I've learned that sometimes things don't always work out the way that we want. And so I wanted to do this next video on tape, but alas, some of the things I wanted to do for it to show you some do's and don'ts have not been working out properly. And that's fallen on me, and I just want to apologize. But like any person that does cosplay or building of cosplays or any of those things, you run into obstacles that you have to figure out. And so I'm going to do that. But in this video, because I wanted to make a video, I decided to answer some questions that I've been getting. And one of the biggest questions that I get is, what all do you have when you go to a con to work on people's costumes? And so I thought I would make this video and show you a majority of the things that I carry on my person. Now, uh, I want to, uh, I've got all my stuff here, so we're just going to start with what's right in front of me. So the first thing I have is this particular pouch here that I carry uh, on my belt. And in this pouch, I carry a couple of things. Uh, prosthetic adhesive and uh, a remover. I carry this because like I said in a previous video people's prosthetics come off uh, when they're uh, doing a cosplay you know they have elf ears or uh, maybe they have eyebrows or they have other pieces that are attached to them and they sweat um, or something happens and a piece comes off I carry that um, to help uh, put, put those back on extra pieces of velcro uh, this velcro was very cheap but it's extremely strong and it has adhesive on it so if, if I can't glue it for some reason this right here helps um, individuals um, keep their pieces and parts on also I have um, acrylic nail polish I cannot tell you how much of this that I use um, it helps to seal or clear coat things that have uh, been broken or chipped uh, or cracked uh, that one shouldn't use glue on. Um, also, it also helps when uh, people chip paint and we have to use paint to fix things. A little bit of clear coat over it uh, helps match it up with several other colors. There's some science in there. Um, so, uh, the next thing that I have here, you probably, let's see if we can do it. These are zipper heads. These are spare zipper heads because zippers have a tendency, like I said in a previous video, to break. So, these are some replacement zipper heads. So, in case I have to uh, fix a zipper on a bodysuit or maybe a shoe and I have to take the head off because it's just messed up too far or too gone, uh, I've got spare zipper heads to uh, replace them on that so all right so that's that pouch <laughs> we'll set that pouch over here now and then we get over to my tool pouch and in this tool pouch I have a portable heat gun I have a soldering gun uh, I have solder because of electronics. Uh, more and more over the years, um, people have started to implement uh, LED lights um, and other things inside their cosplays and they break uh, because they don't account for the wiring being on like joints so when they move around it winds up working that the, the wires and it winds up breaking or um, some other particular aspect. Uh, I also have uh, a Dremel. Also in this tool pouch I have this wonderful little tool here. It's a uh, screwdriver with different heads on it as you can see. It's a ratcheting screwdriver. Uh, yes, people are putting more and more uh, mechanical parts into their cosplays, especially like on the Warhammer 40k space um, armor. Uh, a lot of those pieces are held together with uh, metal eye bolts uh, hooks uh, and other apparatus, um, and so using tools helps. Uh, I also carry 
<laughs> adjustable wrench for those nuts and bolts. So that's that part. I also carry a Dremel with me, but my Dremel is actually being used uh, on another project right now. So that is in a completely different part of my house. Uh, once I'm done with that project, I will put it back into my kit and I will have it. The Dremel, once again, something else that I need. Um, sometimes when things get broken, I have to cut a piece off um, or uh, I may have to smooth something out or I might have to drill a hole uh, to be able to make something work. And so that's what the Dremel is for. So that's that pouch. Oh. Also on this pouch, I have a lot of paracord because I cannot, once again, the amount of times that paracord was needed to be able to hold something together, tie something together, uh, corsets, shoes, boots, um, myriad of other things that paracord uh, is extremely useful in doing. Uh, glues, I carry one, two, three and four types of glues and I also carry an activator for the hot for the uh, super glues I also carry a battery powered hot glue gun because hot glue does come in handy on some things uh, this is the newest addition to mine uh, set I actually have two other ones uh, but I saw this one on sale and I was like, well, you know, you can never have too many uh, battery powered hot glue guns. So voila, in a butter jelly sandwiches. Here that is. So let me set all these over on the side. Uh, fishing line, uh, 12 pound fishing line. Um, uh, I used to carry uh, much heavier stuff, but I come to find out that it's not so easy to work with, but the 12 pound actually works really, really well. This comes in handy for things that I need to do right where the individual, the cosplayer, um, instead of using like thread um, or even the paracord, I may use this because it's harder to see and um, it makes for a lot better. I use this primarily for like things that go in the hair like uh, TRs or um, other uh, pieces and parts that have like metal pieces that need to look like they're together because it, it looks sort of tacky when you use things like tape or uh, even thread. So this right here is hard to see and so for the sake of the uh, aesthetics of a cosplay I will use this. Uh, a container of bobby pins for people's hair because wigs have a tendency to uh, crap out. I carry about six different types of thread this is just white. I didn't want to take everything off my vest. Uh, they're put, they're positioned on my chest um, because I actually wind up using quite a bit. But I carry white, black, and the uh, three primary colors as well as green and a, a gray. I think I think I got a gray. Yeah, so I got a gray. Uh, a little Sue Sucrets tin that inside of it has. Uh, let's see if we can get that. Are you gonna are you gonna autofocus for me, buddy? Let's see here. No, nope, but so inside of it we have different needles. Uh, we also have some safety pins, uh, thimbles, little pieces of um, uh, our little spool of black thread, uh, and something to help me thread the needles on occasion when I need some help, especially like in a real big crowded room and I've got like 500 people standing around me watching what I'm doing. Uh, it can get pretty nerve wracking. I also carry. A charger for my phone uh, because not all the time I can find a place to plug something in. Uh, I carry duct tape. Uh, I carry actually three different types of duct tape uh, but I only have two because once again like I said I've got another project that I'm working on but I carry the, gor the Gorilla duct tape. This is the absolute best type of duct tape that you can possibly use uh, this stuff will affix things like you wouldn't believe. And then, of course, I carry standard duct tape, which I will set over here. All right. Next thing I have is a multi-tool. Uh, uh, my tool set for my Dremel. These are all the pieces and parts that I use. Um, the drill heads, the buffers, 
uh, the scrapers, the cleaners, the cutters. I even have some polishing in case that um, uh, I'm working on a piece of metal and needs to be polished up for whatever reason because it got tarnished or scraped or anything like that. So I can help a cosplayer with that. Um, I carry a little medical kit because uh, for those that don't know what a corpsman is, a uh, corpsman is the Navy version of an Army medic. Uh, not only do we provide medical service to the Navy, but we also provide medical service to the Marine Corps, hence the name corpsman. The Marine Corps doesn't have their own medics, the Navy pro provides them. And um, so this was my kit that I had when I served, and I carry it on me uh, everywhere I go. Uh, I also carry a pair of scissors, several different color sharpies because sometimes paint is just too much. My little sidearm, you know, my little side piece that you carry because you know all police officers they have their service weapon and then they have their side piece. <laughs> so <laughs> the the only thing is I don't carry this on my ankle. That would just be really weird to be in a con and pulling this out of your boot. <laughs> so and uh, let's see here. And so that's the majority of what I carry. And this year I will be adding two new pieces. Um, I actually discovered these wonderful um, inventions here. So this is a table uh, that actually has a collapsible leg in it, a big central leg that actually collapses because when I go to most cons I don't get provided anything. Uh, usually the con doesn't give me a table, doesn't give me an area to work, so I have to move over to the side nine times out of ten and work on someone's cosplay either um, on the side of a, of, of a main hall or maybe in the back corner of a dealer room and I don't usually have a table or anything to work with so I'm usually handling things all in my hands. So I have that and then I also have uh, a stool that I am going to put on my person and uh, one of these I don't know if y'all seen them but they are uh, amazing so I have to figure out how I'm going to attach that because all of this equipment goes on a vest which uh, I'm pretty sure that y'all have seen the picture of me in my previous videos um, I wear this vest uh, and everything goes on it. I do not have a little cart that I pull be behind me or uh, anything like that. I carry everything on me. And so it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's pretty heavy. It's about 35 pounds, but now with those two, with the table and the stool, that's probably gonna add close to 40 pounds now, which I will carry on my body through the entire con, three or four days, depending upon how long the con is. I don't complain. I'm not saying it as a complaint. I, I, I don't complain. It's great. It's a great workout. Uh, helps me, you know, keep, stay strong. Uh, and I don't mind doing it because, like I said be a, before, helping cosplayers and costumers at cons um, in their hour of need is an important thing. So I have no problem. So that's it. That's the, um, the little bit of the things that I carry. That's about 90 per percent of it. I didn't pull out the other stuff like Band-Aids and Tiger Bomb and uh, I also carry things on me like the Naproxen because you know cosplayers wind up getting hurt uh, and like I said Band-Aids uh, and different things like that. So um, all of those things that I carry on me to help out costumers and cosplayers. So I hope you enjoyed this video, a little bit of insight into things that I carry. Uh, as always, I ask you to like and subscribe on my channel. Um, also, start to look out. Uh, I have attempted to do some ads, so you may see my face or maybe something pop up. Please, by all means, uh, I would appreciate it if you would click on them or share them. That would be great. Um, and so, I look forward to seeing you again. Uh, I'm not going to promise what I'm going to do next time because as I'm learning with this channel, not everything happens to plan. So, I hope all of you have a great week. I have a wonderful time and like I said before I'll be seeing you at Megacon in May in Orlando that's the next con I'm going to be going to I can't wait to see everybody there have a great day everybody and remember just like everyone else you're just as important to me as you are to yourself be good to yourself and be good to everyone around you have a great time folks